Okay, but let's talk about investing, bro. The craziest story came out lately, dude. The GameStop story. It's literally breaking down as we speak, and I find it the coolest thing that has happened on the internet in a while. So I'm going to switch to it. Mike, you haven't really heard what's going on. Frey, no, you briefly so. Up. Just explain I'm it. I'm going to give you a small rundown of what happened, bro. So you guys obviously don't play that much games either. But no. you don't go into a store anymore and buy a physical disc, okay? You download you still it can. You. you still can, but the market's like decreased a lot in that field bro so companies and big companies in america like gamestop they relied on it bro it was their bread and butter it's sort of like um a lot of um so it's like a musica kind of yeah thing. a lot of yeah they feeling it as well and also um oh, they've been shut down yeah, too? They've been shut yeah. Down, people yeah. who do um books for school kids a lot of them are moving on to tablets now and all their books are like ebooks bro so a lot of like people who just sell like actual books to st like schools, they losing out a lot as well. Same principle. So GameStop started going down, right? And everyone thought it was gonna be initial, okay, this thing's gonna die eventually, like it's done. So what these big hedge fund um, people started doing is they started shorting it, dude. Okay. They were like, it's going down, we're gonna short it, we're saying it's gonna, it's gonna fail. Right? Yeah, I would imagine this was probably a while ago. Then oh, so did everyone else come and dude, start investing? Then this Reddit sub page started, bro. Everyone started saying, like, we got to reinvest in this. we got to, like, <laughs> stick it to the man. Like, just because fuck Wall Street. Just because fuck Wall Street, really? bro. Dude. Hectic. And it, it literally, it went up. I'll show you here just to show you. So those hedge fund oaks have to explain to all the fucking... No, but if they hold their positions for long enough, because surely that's not sustainable. Dude, you must see how much they've lost already, bro. I just want to find the figures here. Yeah, but it's not realized lost, though. Yeah, until... Unless, yeah. yeah. It depends. So, yeah, what they're saying is how it's working, sort of, is that, like, the first round of like internet people who have like started buying and h helping this hype have come in and there's just going to be f more waves to follow of like more oh they planned it out like that yeah like more people to keep coming in dude i don't know how sustainable that I is i assume though. it's not but how great is the story but it's hilarious though it's great dude yeah dude, i love i love, I love so what have the they basically have they just bought stocks is that what they've done? basically to shoot the stock price back up so why don't they just hold on to the stocks i mean they probably bought it for dirt ch dirt cheap no, but like, it, it's, dude, it's I don't know. I'm not an investor, bro. I no, no, that, I think that's, a, that's a question for a proper investor, bro. Yeah, I mean, look, like, we, we won't be able to go into the specifics of it. But I, just, <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just wonder if, like, I mean, if we're right, if it's short term like this is not going to really do anything or if it really has screwed the hedge fund no, so guys look, over. No, look, so like, how has I, it saved I, the how company? No, no, or no, the no, no, because look, what's going to happen eventually is that GameStop's not going to keep on selling games and stuff, bro. So, so there's the, not going to the be any... The stock price is going to go down eventually. So what you've invested, you're not going to actually be able to get back one day. So it's like a short-lived little hype. Mm. There's say. not going to be any dividends either. So yeah. the shareholders who invested in it aren't going to see any returns. So eventually they're going to be like, okay. It's just a bit of a laugh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. But <laughs> but basically though, bro, these people who are holding these short positions, I want to show you, yeah, like some of them have lost an incredible amount of money, bro. That's amazing, Honestly, They must be shitting themselves, dude. Dude, apparently it is literally... I just want to find it here, bro. I, I think it was Investopedia that put the article that I read yesterday, dude. It was so good, dude. I was just speaking, like... And to think that this all started on, like, a subreddit, bro. And I actually... Dude, we should actually go into that subreddit. And just gain traction. Dude, it just literally... Everyone was like, stick it to the man, But bro. are these oaks and shit now? So, no, no, no. So apparently, the, the SEC also, they were saying, like... They're investigating whether this actually like stock manipulation. Yeah. That's also like a whole story that comes into it now. It's like, because it sort of is. I don't know, dude. They're like, is it just the hype or is it like sort of but like can a group a of stock? private individuals with a large sum of money not meet together and all decide to put their funds into uh, a company? Is it not the same concept? Just because it's coming from a group on Reddit as opposed to, I don't know, us three with 50 billion Rand putting it in. Yeah, I'm not too sure on how. So I was zoning, I'm trying to look for how much. Yeah, I don't know how that works, have lost in terms of like the law aspect of it. Yeah. No idea. Anyone want to get an investor on the show? <laughs> yeah, dude, we probably should, bro. That would be great to just clarify this, dude. But I just want to show you how much they've lost, dude. I think the one hedge fund, this guy even had to put out a video, bro, where I was watching this, dude. He was like, he was like, um, busy speaking about, like, no, my company's still afloat. Because people were like, I think this, like, tanked your company, bro. That's uh, how hectic it was. Yeah, like people were really... Like that's how big of a position yeah. he was in. Yeah, let me just go to YouTube and then go to the CNN page, bro. I should have done this earlier, but it just explains it so much better, bro. So just obviously watch on screen there now. 
but CNN kind of explained it quite well. Dude, and I, like, America has, like, so many people. Let's see if you can hear this. It's also quite a good test for our beta run, yeah. I can't hear anything. Yeah, yeah cool. So the audience anything. can let us know how okay. they okay. But hopefully I can just fast forward here to show where they speak about the loss, bro. So the short squeeze... You're just casually reading our lips there. No, no, no I'm looking at the, <laughs> the subheadings, bro, at the bottom here. To see if they just... Dude, because I, I don't want to make up a number, dude, but I think if I remember correctly, it was something like two, like 2.6 billion. Bro, I don't want to make up a figure, but let me make up a figure. He's going to put it on. He's going to put it on for us. Don't worry, we got this going. No, we don't. Wait, maybe? The cable is in here. Wait, maybe it is my laptop, bro. Wait, wait, maybe I gotta go sound here. Yeah. You know, the Apple sound you probably have play to. through. It's saying Apple TV. If I said HDMI, it would change, but then we'll change the recording. Just leave it. Okay. Let's leave it. It was 2.6. It was 2.6 billion. 2.6 billion. Like, like the one hedge fund itself, bro. And they, they, they all obviously speaking about how much longer can they hold in, bro. That's the, obviously the main talking points at yeah, the moment, yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. But what a wild I love that story, though, bro. Dude. That's, That's awesome, dude. amazing story, bro. Yeah, it is an amazing yeah, story. Like, insane. I think this is going to be like a whole new, like, people were saying like they've never ever seen this in the whole of Wall Street, bro. Like, this has never happened where people just have like done it just to, just to do it, to stick it to the man. So wonder if it's going to start happening more, more often. Enough. They're going to find all these I don't know, bro. dying out companies. But that's the thing, like once, once, you, once people see that it's yeah. not sustainable, then, like, f if a, another occasion yeah. has to happen, then people yeah. are going to be like, oh, is it actually worth it to do that? I don't know. Yeah, it was probably a bit of a laugh. Because you're never going to win against Wall Street, bro. No. Yeah, like, I'm sorry, like, dude. But like <laughs> Money-wise, they're going to run out of time. It's just bro. not going to happen, bro. But I love the concept behind it, dude. Yeah. I think they actually, like, froze the... the, the look, look here. I think it got frozen. Five days. Oh, look. while they, like, while the SEC is investigating and stuff. Yeah. So check here. I think it went up 700%, bro, if I'm not even... Can't so stop. It. It's literally, yeah, this is January 2021, bro, it's at $18 per share. Goes all the way up to, yeah, where it's at $401 <laughs> per share, dude. It's actually impressive what they did, bro. <laughs> it's impressive, dude. <coughs> How crazy is that, bro? I find it <laughs> so interesting, dude, and... They, dude, it just flashed red. I don't know what <laughs> happened there, bro. We might just give you live up. Live so action. Yeah, <laughs> this might be a long podcast. Dude, <laughs> we're just going to watch the share price now. Maybe we should short it now, boys. Get in well, now. By the time we release this episode, I wonder if people are going to, it's going to be the same situation. No, it definitely won't, bro. This, nah. is, this stuff so, it happens so quickly, Yeah, it's bro. quite volatile. Yeah. Check here. Uh, GameStop's three sh largest shareholders earn over two billion in the stock surge. <laughs> Yo, they just Does pocketed that. Thank you. Yeah, they were like, thanks everyone. They <laughs> thought their company was going under, bro. They were like, my company's done, dude. They were like, this is it. All of a sudden, bro, the internet comes thanks in Reddit. and helps out, bro. So I think we should start a a, a Reddit subpage, bro, of like funding the weekly order, bro. Yeah, I'll get behind it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder when they'll find out we're not listed on anything and we're just pocketing all the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's definitely legal, bro. <laughs>